Staying organized during a production is key to the success of a production. And there are a lot of different ways that we can organize a scene. And one really helpful way of organizing a scene is using the schematic view. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop down to two different viewports. And if you want, you can hit D for display options and your viewport layout, you can change that to all different um, types of layouts. But I'm just going to use the double vertical. So we get two viewports to work with within our, within our workspace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this perspective view over to schematic view. And now we're working with the schematic viewport. It's a two-dimensional view showing all items in the scene as rectangles. And we can customize the look of the, the rectangles. If I want to make sure that I can really spot the gecko, which is the main item in the scene, I'll just right click and I'm going to change this to orange. Okay. Now, as you can see, just by selecting on items, it's selecting them. So you can use the schematic view as a selection tool just to be able to quickly select. We can also use it to um, set up uh, parenting structures if we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a null and I'm going to call it master. This can be our master mover. And I'm just going to zoom out. You can use the same uh, keyboard shortcuts. I'm holding down control, alt and left clicking. Uh, to zoom out and I'll zoom back in with the same setup. Uh, I'm gonna make my master red so I'm just gonna come over and choose red okay and uh, now what I'm gonna do is select each item hold down control and click and now I'm parenting these items to the master okay so whenever I move the master around, all of those are going to move. I can still move them independent, just like the whole parent-child setup that we're used to. But with the, with the master selected, now in my camera view, I'm going to move the master. And you can see everything's moving with it because everything's parenting, parented to it. So it's another way of parenting is to just do it in the schematic view. Okay? You can reorder uh, all of the, the different items to set up however you'd like. You can use uh, much less space if you want. So like I could just set this up like this, hold down Alt to pan my view, and do something like this so that we can slide this over and have our viewport. You can always zoom out if you get a lot of items. And if you color code code them correctly, you, will, you won't even need to see the text. See, as we zoom out, we can't see the text. If I zoom in, the text comes back. Um, you don't need to to be able to see the setup, uh, the, the text, if you set it up in a way that you can recognize what's what. So on a full character rig, you can have it where this is the head, and then um, this is over here, and that can um, start one of the hierarchy chains, and I can set these over here, and even zoomed out, color-coded, you'd be able to tell what's what. Okay. So besides um, parenting, we can right click on each one of our uh, items and so like let's say the um, we'll select the box right click and you can go uh, to item properties motion options you can set the color you can clear it from the scene you can clone it okay and for things like uh, light you can rename it and I'll just call this key so you have lots of options in the schematic view, but the main thing is that it's a good way to stay organized and you can use it for, uh, of course, organizing your scene and uh, for a selection tool. So that's just a quick look at the schematic viewport, uh, which uh, you can access easily in any of the viewports just by choosing schematic view from the drop-down list. 